My name is Mike Dietz, and I'm the director of the Ecological Forecasting Initiative, a larger parent organization that the RCN and Forecasting Challenge are part of. The goal of this session is to introduce the broader FE effort with a particular focus on activities that are ongoing within our working groups. EFI is an international grassroots research consortium aimed at building and sustaining a community of practice around iterative ecological forecasts. We launched EFI in 2018 with a vision for how ecological forecasts could help us understand, manage, and conserve ecosystems. EFI's mission is focused on solving the challenge of predicting nature with a particular focus on iterative approaches which embody the principles of the scientific method by requiring us to make predictions that are quantitative, specific, and therefore falsifiable, and then continually confronting those predictions with new observations. At its heart, EFI is working to advance the idea that iterative forecasts provide a win-win by simultaneously allowing us to tackle grand challenge scientific questions about overarching patterns of predictability in nature while producing socially relevant forecasts that improve lives and likelihoods. The only requirement for every membership is a commitment to the shared values and principles that forecasts support societal well being and informed environmental decision making, that forecasts advance basic ecological research, the value of open science, the value of uncertainty, quantification, propagation, assessment, and communication within forecasts, the value of training, collaboration, and community development, and the commitment to a safe, open, diverse, and inclusive and respectful environment. One of the ways that FE works to build the community <clears throat> is through workshops and conferences such as this one, uh, including our own meetings that have occurred over the last few years, as well as holding sessions at national and international conferences, in helping uh, partner organizations organize their workshops and activities that support ecological forecasting goals. That said, most of EFI's work comes from our working groups, which are organized around a series of cross-cutting themes that represent specific areas of shared interest across the community, regardless of the subdiscipline that any individual is working in, such as uh, working groups for diversity, equity, and inclusion, education, partners, theory, uh, social and decision science, methods, cyber infrastructure, uh, and then uh, two additional uh, groups, a graduate student association, and a newly launched uh, regional chapter from Canada. The partners working group is focused on building bridges that span academia, agencies, industry, community scientists, and stakeholders while the social and decision science working group is focused on how forecasts could be used to improve decisions, as well as how forecasts are actually used in practice. The diversity working group is focused on building a diverse, equitable, and inclusive community, while the education working group is focused on the development and refinement of open courseware and the supporting of the support of educational opportunities. Uh, one example of this is the uh, joint EFI and NEON uh, videos uh, on the fundamentals of ecological forecasting, which were recently released. The cyber infrastructure and methods working groups uh, are focused more on the technical bottlenecks of producing forecasts uh, and the, the workflows that support those and the, the statistical methods and tools that we use. Finally, the theory group is taking a comparative approach to better understand when and where nature is predictable by looking for common features in the predictability of different ecological forecasts. To wrap up, I'd really encourage you to think about ways that you might want to get involved more deeply with EFI uh, as a broader organization, not just the RCN. Uh, and there's a lot of great information about EFI at our website, ecoforecast.org. Uh, I'll let you know that the working groups and the student group are uh, open to all participants and folks are welcome to join at any point and get more involved. I would encourage you to go to the, the CUBE site that the RCN meeting is using to organize where there's a number of doodle polls for all the different working groups. Uh, we're gonna be you know, launching new uh, meetings this summer on a new schedule to get more people involved. Uh, there's also a, a very active uh, FE Slack community 
as well as uh, I encourage you to uh, sign up for the newsletter, follow us on Twitter, follow our blogs, and I'll let you know that uh, membership is free to any individual, partner, organization, or project uh, that supports EPI's uh, underlying uh, principles and values. Uh, thank you for this time. With this, I'll, I'll now uh, give time to each of the, the individual working groups to give updates on what they've been working on.